Mary, your question was about exercises like leg circles or hamstring pull. Where, where I'm tight in the hamstring, so when I lift the leg up too high, I tuck. And so I, I find that I can't do that. Okay, let's see it. Let's see. <laughs> so sometimes you find... So you, you're saying, because they may not hear you, uh, you are saying that uh, sometimes when exercise where you have to lift the leg high, it's yeah. really uh, difficult because you're tight in your hamstring, so you find yourself going into a tuck or a posterior tilt of the pelvis. Let's do the leg circles. Okay. okay. So the first thing to do, so when you're on this mat, you can either leave the arms down here, yeah. you can put them out at your side, or you've got these handles, oh, so okay. you can use the handle. Let's use the handles, because we've got them, we may as well show them off. Okay, scoot up just a little higher, that's perfect, and then just hold on to those hands. You can put your thumb around, okay. that's perfect. Lovely wrist position. Okay, bend your right leg to your chest, and then take it up. Okay, and then flex the foot. So, now, where we would ideally want it is up there, right? And when we keep it down here, because it's less on your hamstring, but it makes it much harder on your hip flexor. Okay. Much. Now, do the hip flexors have to work? Yes. So to say, no, I want you to not use your hip flexors is crazy. You have to use your hip flexors. But to say we don't want you to feel overpowering hip flexor work, just know that this is going to be very hard on the hip flexors. This angle is difficult. Plus, the hamstrings are pulling the leg down, and your hip flexors have to pull the leg up. So we've got a few strategies up our sleeve here. The least of the evils is posteriorly tilting the pelvis. That, that is not a problem. But you want to keep the pelvis stable, and then go around and around, keeping that pelvis stable, around and around. And around, this is good. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale. Now, another strategy would be to bend this leg slightly. That releases the hamstring. Now, even a little more, bend it. There. Now you've released the, the cause of the problem. And now you can still work on the pelvic stability. Because what this exercise is for is for releasing the hip joint and working on pelvic lumbar stabilization or stability. But keep it like that. So now, let it go around. It's funny, she feels more comfortable with a straight leg. Because every time we bend it, and then you go back to that straight leg. I think maybe for you, just keeping it straight is the way to go, but just working with a slight posterior tilt. Okay. The other option is bending this leg. Yeah. Bend it. There. Oh, okay. So you, oh. now you would work in neutral. So go to neutral. Maybe neutral. Maybe we still need a bit of a tuck. See, because when we take it to there, then I go into tuck. you go into that posterior tilt. So, you know, it, we need to see with you what the best strategy would be uh, to the point where I may use a band around your legs, a, a TheraBand, a rubber band, yes. and let you hold on to that because what that does is it takes the extreme work out of the hip flexors, allows you to stretch those hamstrings, and it allows you to get a good pelvic position. Whatever strategy you use, whether it's bending the knee and straightening this leg and then getting into a neutral position or straightening this leg and bending this leg or using a TheraBand, whatever strategy you use, remember the objective is pelvic lumbar stabilization and hip disassociation. Whether you're in a slight tuck or whether you're in neutral, you need to keep it stable. As long as you're rocking around, you're not achieving that stability. 
So whichever strategy will work better for you. Okay. Yeah. Thank Good. You. You're welcome. Another, by the way, another one, Mary, could be to put either your hands under your pelvis or a little cushion under your pelvis to elevate the pelvis. And that's going to push it into more posterior tilt. But you want to find a way of using the stabilizers of the pelvic lumbar region and to be able to free up that hip uh, joint, get that sensation of disassociating the hip joint from the pelvis. And slowly, as you stretch your hamstrings more and more, hopefully you'll be able to come to closer to 90 degrees. But holding the leg at that angle is very difficult for the hip flexors. Very difficult.